Hello, it's Elaine with Elaine's Custom Cards. Finally found some time to record a video for you. I am using the Dainty Flowers DSP. It's free. It's a $50 purchase. During celebration, I can show you. It's on page six of the celebration catalog. It's most beautiful. I love it. And then this is the and new mini catalog. And I purchased out of it on page find it for you. 19. There's some dragonfly trinkets that are just so cute right up here in the corner so if you have this catalog don't miss that they are so very cute that's these little trinkets you have to either use glue or glue dots on them to get them to stick to your card so let's get started on this card I have everything cut out I went ahead and stamped everything I'm using the sentiments from the pansy patch the happy birthday and wishing you a little extra happiness just because you're you and then I'm also using the um, scallop contours so I'm using this die right here so let's get started I have my list of sizes I'm desperately trying to figure out how to get my instruction sheet on my blog. <sighs> Eventually I'll figure it out. Anyway, this is Fresh Freeze cardstock. Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter for our card base. This is Blackberry Bliss. And you need a piece that's about five and a half by four so that you can cut this out and then this is the designer series paper we're using and it looks like this before it's cut up and what I did was cut it about here somewhere and then I saved the center pieces Um, so I cut it, I don't have my ruler, oh here it is, I cut it about five and a half, but you can cut it shorter than that if you want, that's just what I did, and then I saved those strips, anyway, I just used a section of it over here for this card, and I cut this piece. I actually cut it, it was like this. So what I did was oh, something like that. Anyway. Anyway, what I did was I trimmed off the edge of it. So it was about like that. I trimmed a little off the top of this. I cut this first and then I trimmed this piece. So this piece is um, four and a half by three and a quarter. So we're just going to glue that to the front of this. You can use your um, tape runner or whatever kind of adhesive you want. I just prefer this. So I just glued that to the front. Centered it like so, and then this piece I trimmed down to fit this, which is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And I, before I stamped this, I laid this down and then made sure I stamped this in the center. So let's go ahead and glue that on there. I like putting a piece of the designer series paper on the inside of my card sometimes especially if I have just a little strip so we're going to go ahead and glue that to this 
left side, like so. And get it even. And I stamped the sentiments using Blackberry Bliss ink. Okay. Then I took my sentiment and I stamped the sentiment on this piece of, on this strip, on this side of it, which matches this. I stamped it and then punched it out with this punch right here, the double oval punch. And then I punched another one with the scalloped side on the green side of this. You can use cardstock. I just like to use up my designer series paper. So we're going to go ahead and glue this on here to this. Make sure your little images are right side up. Probably doesn't really matter because you can't really see much of it. But I wanted mine up right side up. Okay, now we're going to assemble the card. So let's take this piece and put um, dimensionals on the back. I don't know where that went. Oh, there it is. Somehow, it's sticky. Come off. I'll go ahead and do this. You can put as many as you want on there. I like to make sure I have enough that it doesn't sag in the middle. And then we're going to put some on the back of this. Okay. So let's go ahead and adhere this to the front of the card. Like I said, I'm trying to figure out how to get the instructions on my blog. I've been working on that for well, ever since I started my blog and I still haven't figured out how to do it. So I may end up just typing it on there. So let's put that there. And then I want this down here in the corner. So I don't want to cover up my beautiful flowers. So we'll put that in the corner, just like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and glue this to the inside. You can get quite a few cards with that one sheet of designer series paper. Right there, so the inside's done. Now, let's see if we can get some glue dots on the back of here. So let's get our glue dots out, find them. Here they are. Now, the glue dots are a little bit bigger than the wings, so what I did was folded the glue dot in half. And then put it on the back of the wing, just like so. Just make sure that it doesn't go over the edges. Let's get another one. Fold it in half. And then put it on the back of the wing. They're very sticky, so. And then I just kind of put it at an angle somewhere in here. You can put it wherever you want. You can get your fingers to work. Sometimes mine don't. I think I'm going to put this one up here. Okay. And then you can use these rhinestone basic duels. They would look pretty on there, but I'm trying to use these festive pearls up that I got during the last celebration. So I'm going to use these. If you have these, they look really good with um, 
the silver of your uh, dragonfly. So let's put one there. One down here. And one over here. Okay, so like I said, these will work. If you don't have these, get some of these. And that's your card for today. I will try to get all the instructions and everything on my blog. I've been working on that. So, anyway, this is a very short video. I have a couple of other cards that I've made. I've got this one with that same didn't do the inside yet but it's with the same piece of paper just a different section of it like right here this middle piece and then I've done some other cards as well that I'll try to get some videos posted for you so I hope you have a blessed day if you're interested in um, uh, purchasing this problem purchasing purchasing and getting this for free um, go to my blog there's a, in the down arrow if you click on the down arrow there's a link to my blog and it will have a shop now button and there's also um, PDF you can download PDF versions of this catalog um, the main catalog and the celebration catalog so I hope you have fun stamping and you have a blessed day and until next time God bless you all thank you so much for watching